Today we are rooting croton. I'm cutting off all the leaves on some croton cuttings that I've already taken. So I've trimmed my mother plant and uh, have taken all of these big bushes basically. So you see me peeling off all the leaves. You can cut them off, you can snap them off, but basically you want about a five to eight inch long stick. You want the woody part and that will regrow more croton. This is actually called a Franklin D. Roosevelt croton, and that's why it's got all these beautiful colors and spots. Um, they're super colorful. The more sun they get, the more colorful they get. And crotons are a little bit fussy for some people. They're very much a tropical plant, so they like sun, not, not extremely full sun, but they'll take it. The more sun they get, the more colorful they get. But they really like to stay humid. So here in South Florida, they grow great if you keep them watered. If you don't water them, you forget to water them, they will definitely th uh, throw a fit and fall over. But anywho, you see I have got plenty of these sticks. I'm trying to keep my space clean. Um, and sadly, I have to throw away all these leaves because I just don't have room to propagate all the leaves. But you can actually propagate from the leaf as well uh, by sticking it in water and keeping it moist. So the most important part about uh, crotons, is, especially when you're trying to root them, is keeping them moist. So that means you have to water them every morning and maybe even each night until you see new growth. As soon as you see new growth, then you can back off on watering as much and just keep, still keep that soil moist, but um, you'll get more. I'm dipping in rooting hormone here and putting about three stalks in each pot. The pots are about four inches. That way they have enough room to grow on their own in there and support each other without getting overcrowded.